Hello everyone! Today I have a small stationery haul and this is the stationery haul that my cover for my Midori MD showed up. The first package here is a little order from Jet Pens. I had ordered another um, extra fine nibbed uh, Pilot Kakuno pen and then this was also the order that I got my lovely pink ink in and I love that color so much it's so fun and then here is um, the plastic cover for the Midori and just some extra little sticker tabs for good measure. The little sticker set is just a uh, Coffret com Cosmetic Motif Film Stickers. They are uh, from the Japanese company Hitotoki and um, I just like that there was a little bit of metallic in there and then some pretty colors. And then here is the plastic cover for the Midori MD and I will be trying that on here shortly in the video. And the last fun thing on this order was a set of washi tapes from Howl's Moving Castle. I can absolutely not wait to try these out. The colors and everything are perfect. In this haul, I also got one of the Midori's uh, paintable date stampers. I had always loved this one with the wildlife and I just decided to go ahead and get it for myself for in use of, with my art journal. I will have a review video of this later. Next up was the Hobonichi's uh, cover on cover which is the little plastic covering for your cover to protect your cover which I don't know seems redundant but I definitely wanted to have a protective cover for the the Hobonichi cousin cover that I chose. And last but not least is the Hobonichi Cousin cover in the uh, neon flower uh, print by Liberty Fabrics. Originally, I didn't want to spend this much money on a cover, but I just decided to go for it anyway. And I'm really glad I did because that neon pink in combination with the blue, I mean, that's my color scheme. So I was super excited to see this in person because it looks so much better in person. So now it is finally time to get my Midori set up and ready to go and I will be starting with the Midori's own brand of little uh, clear slipcase cover. And here it is. It's just a simple plastic cover and um, it does have a little pen holder which is pretty nice and um, yeah it's just going to be a nice protective covering um, that I'll be able to put over my Midori. One thing I was super curious about was whether or not uh, the Midori could slip into the plastic case with the little onion skin paper on it and I am happy to report it slides on very very easily so you can keep everything all together very nicely. And here you can see that as long as you're careful, it will um, result in a nice, smooth, easy fit 
and your little onion skin paper won't get wrinkled or anything and you can fold it up quite nicely and it is very tidy honestly I think it would be very nice as is especially if you wanted to do um, your own personalized cover but I do want to take this to travel with me so I am going to slip it into the Hobonichi Techo Cousin cover so let's go ahead and get this A5 cover out of its plastic wrapping and have a good look at it. Overall, I think this cover will uh, be perfect for my needs. It has quite a few little pockets. It has maybe a few more pockets than the Techo cover. It does also come with uh, two bookmarks, with some, which some people find to be useless, but I enjoy using them. This, um, the A5 cover also includes a pocket on the back, which is different from the Techo cover, and you, you can see that here. For the most part, the A5 covers are very similar and have just about the same amount of pockets. The uh, A5 Cousin cover just has two tiny little pockets down in the bottom, but for the most part, it's kind of like a sized up version of the Techo cover. You can better see the little extra pockets here. I guess you could probably stick like an eraser or a little pen in there or something. Other than that, they are very, very similar. The only other major difference, as I stated before, is that the Techo cover does not have a back pocket, but the A5 Cousin cover does. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the plastic protective cover right away because I am always very good at crapping up new things. One thing of note about the cover on cover is you can see there's like a little Ziploc style um, opening here and that is to fit it over the, uh, the back pocket so you'll still have access to it with the protective cover on. And now time for zoomies so I don't bore you with uh, putting my cover on. <laughs> I will give you a slight little close-up here of the back enclosure. You can open it quite easily and gain access to that back pocket to, you know, store things in there and whatnot. And then you can seal it right back up again. And basically the Techo lacks that extra pocket in the back. And now it's time to fit the Midori MD into the Cousin cover. I had googled ahead of time to see if I could fit it in there, and I couldn't really find any other information, but I am happy to report that it does slide very easily into the Cousin cover. I'm just piddling around with a speck of dust. <laughs> but as you can see here, um, it slides in fairly easily. I I was being extra cautious because I didn't want to wreck anything, but yeah, it slides in there quite comfortably and it closes up quite nicely as well. I don't plan on sliding both of the covers into each side of the, the cover. I just want to leave um, the back cover in, but I have no doubt that it will fit very easily into the other flap if that's what you want to do. But I just want to leave mine a little freeform and maybe leave a little room for an extra MD if I get to filling this one up. Overall, I'm really excited to start using this and hopefully I will have some videos for you very soon um, with my first few art journal entries. The last thing I do is to start testing out the little pen holder. I, uh, I very often I just use the little pilot ballpoint here, or no, it's not a pilot, it's a Uniball Signo. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember the name of my favorite ballpoint. <laughs> 
But I digress. It also works well with the uh, the Pilot Kakuno and you can fit, fit it through both of the, um, the little pen tabs here so it kind of makes a little sort of lock for your little <laughs> art journal. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video and I would also like to say that if you're on the fence about ponying up the extra cash for the Liberty Fabrics cover, I really think it is definitely worth it, especially if you love the neon pink like I do because it just reminds me of opera pink paints and you know, my theme is basically pink and blue. I could not be more happier about this. And last but not least, if you like this kind of video, please like it and feel free to go ahead and leave a comment on your favorite notebook covers and your favorite books to do art journaling in. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified of new content right away. But that is it for now and I will see you next week with a fresh new video. Have a great day! Bye bye!